Okay, we've got here that ALB is tangent to the circle LMNP to that quadrilateral there and those triangles all over the place there. Prove that LM, LM equals LP. Well, this is one way to do it. It's the way I did it a while back. Let's take a look at how what I did. I said that L3 has to equal N1 because there's a triangle and it's the tan chord theorem. Well, that's true. That's true. And that P1 must equal N1 because they open up to the same chord LM. You see how N1 here oh, and P1, they open up to the same chord at LM. So they have to be equal. Well, that means that L3 must be equal to... Uh, on, now, we know something else here, sorry. L3 is equal to M1. Why? Because those are parallel lines. That's alternate angles. Alternate angles, and AB being parallel to MP, makes that angle L3 equal M1. Well, if that's all true, we can say something. P1, then. P1 must equal M1 if these things all equal each other. P1 must equal M1. And if P1 equals M1, then if this is a triangle, it's equal sides opposite equal angles. Sides opposite equal sides opposite equal angles. But also, the, these angles inside of a chord, um, the angles, because the um, angles are equal, it means that the chords, LM and LP, have to be equal. Equal angles make equal chords in a triangle. Let's try the next question. We're going to prove that LN here bisects that N1 is equal to N2. Well, let's try this. We've got M1 is equal to N2 because it opens up. Look at this M1 and N2 angles in the same segment. And P1 and N1, it's exactly the same thing. They open up to the same segment, LM, the same chord. Well, that means if P1... Uh, equals if P1 equals N1. Oh, what, what else have we? We knew this from before, that P1 equals M1. Well, if that's all true, if all these things equal each other, that means that N1 and N2 must be the same. And N1 equaling N2 is what we were supposed to prove, that this line, LN, bisects this angle. Well, that's what it means. Therefore, LN bisects it. Let's try this one. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out if LM could be a tangent to the circle M and Q right here. So we're going to try and prove that LM1 is equal to N1. But then hang on here. We've proven that M1, P1 is equal to M1. We've proven that P1 is equal to N1 uh, back before. P1 is equal to M1. Well, that means M1 is N1. And if that's true, if this angle equals this angle over here, then there must be a circle that can go through M and Q. So we can say, hey, LM is tangent to the, a circle going through M and Q, and it's the converse to the tan chord theorem. And there we go.